Hi, we are at the Office of Social Venture Partners, and with me is Laurie Ashton, Chair of the Executive Committee of Social Venture Partners here in Santa Barbara. How are you doing? Great, thanks. It's good to have you with us today. So many questions for you and your organization. So first one, what is the mission of Social Venture Partners? Social Venture Partners Santa Barbara uh, looks to leverage its philanthropic dollars by combining the financial resources with the professional expertise of its partners. So the partners actually follow the investment dollars into the investees, which is different than a traditional grant model. So our partners, they volunteer their time and their professional expertise, and we actually work hand in hand with our investees to build their capacity and uh, increase their productivity as a nonprofit. Good. When was it first founded? Social Venture Partners Santa Barbara obtained its charter in October of 2008, and that charter was granted by Social Venture Partners International. The model for Social Venture Partners was brought to Santa Barbara by Claude Case, who was a founding partner in Phoenix, and when he moved to Santa Barbara, he brought the model here. And we operate as a field of interest fund of the Santa Barbara Foundation, which means we are under its 501c3 umbrella. So we're really grateful that we've had the support of the foundation really uh, since day one. Good. Now tell me more about the partners. How do you select them and yes. what do you want to expect from them? Yes. What we're looking for in partners is, um, number one, folks who are ready and willing to roll up their sleeves and donate their uh, professional expertise and really work hand in hand with our uh, investees to really bring them to the next level. We want folks who want to bring their for-profit experience into the nonprofit arena. But secondly, we're also looking for people who just want to see their nonprofit dollars go further. So for folks who don't have the time or the interest to roll up their sleeves and get involved, we're interested in them as partners as well because we can use their funds and leverage them with the time of the partners who are willing to get involved. Now let's talk more about how do you operate as an organization. So how much can you help a nonprofit that is well established? Well, I mean, it depends on the nonprofit. We have uh, currently 23 partner units. That's about uh, 45 individuals, and they have a wide range of experience. We have entrepreneurs, we have former CEOs, we have former COOs, we have lawyers. We have a wide range of talents, and we're looking for partners in our investees who need the kinds of skills that our partners possess. So depending on the nonprofit, we can help them in any of those areas and, and many more. Well, thank you for all that information. Yes, you're welcome. And next, we are going to bring Paul Gertman, who serves as chair of the investment committee here of Social Venture Partners in Santa Barbara, and he will talk more about all the help that they are giving to our community. So, thank you. And we are back. Now we are with Paul Gertman, which, as I said before, is the chair of the investment committee of Social Venture Partners in Santa Barbara. How are you doing, Paul? Very good. Thank good. you. Good to have you with us today. My so, pleasure. Paul, we are going to talk more about what you have done for the community. And first question is, how do you select who to help? Well, we had a meeting with the heads of most of the major foundations here in Santa Barbara. And given the economic crisis that had hit, uh, particularly for nonprofits in the community, we said, where should we be investing our dollars and our expertise? And I think uniformly, people felt that we needed to tackle a safety net issue and decided to focus on the challenge of homelessness in Santa Barbara County. Good. So who are your investees? Well, we went through a process of notifying about 60 organizations in Santa Barbara County of our interest in trying to help build capacity and to look for innovation in tackling problems in the homeless and affordable housing space. And we received about 18 organizations who sent in a letter of intent. We picked six as finalists and asked them to prepare a more detailed proposal and then finally chose our first two investees, which are Casa Esperanza, where we are uh, going to work with them on establishing a commercial bakery cookie business. They want to improve their ability to have revenue to support hiring caseworkers to help homeless people get back into housing and off the streets. And one of the ways of doing that 
is to use an important asset they have, which is a commercial scale kitchen, which goes unused from dinner time to breakfast the next morning. And so they said, gee, it's not used during what are normally bakery hours. We could start a bakery related business and they decided to do cookies and they are now working on and we are working with them about how they would set up a cookie business that would eventually produce enough income that it would help support additional staff. The other organization we're helping is called Willbridge and they work with the toughest homeless population. Those who are chronically homeless, who have some type of mental illness and drug abuse or alcoholism related problems. They take in people who've been on the streets for 20 plus years and have worked with them to get them housed and sheltered and begin the process of rehabilitating them um, so that they can move on to some type of supportive housing. So Paul, if people would like more information, where should they go? They should come to uh, the Social Venture Partner Santa Barbara website, which is www.svpsb.org. Perfect. Well, thank you, Paul, for all that information, and best thank for you. you and Social Venture Partners. Thank well you Well, meet organization much. in town. Great. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.svchannels.tv.